Well, we know that Dia is coming out in 3.5. There's no denying that. We've it's already there. But obviously the biggest thing is that you want to be ready for when Dia comes out if you are summoning for her like myself, which means that you're going to need a pre-build guide. And who better to do a pre-build guide than me? I'm just saying. Anyways, guys, what is going on, my dudes? Tasha here back again with another Genshin Impact video. And today we are going to be talking about what you need to farm up before Dia comes out next week. But before we get into that, please make sure to hit that like and subscribe button down below. Don't forget to hit the notification bell to be notified of when the next Genshin Impact video comes out. And of course, leave a comment about what you think about today's video. Now, let's go ahead and dive right into it. Now, as you can see, we are on Honey Hunter World. Uh, it's what I use for the majority of everything because honestly, like, you know, they have such good information here. And of course, as you can see, we have Dia pulled up. Now, let's go ahead and first talk about what we see right here. The first things you're going to want to farm up are these uh, Agnetus. I, 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 I always mess this up. Agnetus uh, Jade Fragments or what, like whatever you want to call them, the Agates, whatever. But... You're going to need a good chunk of these. Now, every time that a new character comes out, you're always going to go for these elemental, you know, gemstones in the sense. So you're going to need one of these silvers. You're going to need nine of the fragments, nine of the chunks and six of the gemstones. Now, for those who don't know, this is going to be you need three of the silvers to make a fragment. You need three fragments to make a chunk and you need a chunk or three chunks to make a gemstone that's just a given that's how it's always been so make sure that you're farming up the bosses for pyro bosses you could get from like pretty much from any pyro regisvine from the uh pyro hypostasis and it looks like as though you could get it from the wolf of the north aka boreas uh which i'm actually pretty surprised by i did not know that to be honest um so yeah there's plenty of ways to get yourself these little fragments you could also if you have like you know the cryo ones or the hydros or any of those you could switch them at the uh crafting table thing so uh best believe there's plenty of ways for you to get these gemstones now each character always has a specific boss mat that you're going to need to get and the, and of course he is no different you're gonna have to fight the triangle boy to get these light guiding tetrahedrons. That's right. You're gonna need to fight the semi intransient ma matrix, I think is what it's called. It's a weird, it's a weird name. They always have weird name, but you're going to need 46 of these tetrahedrons. Hold on a second, I'm about to cough. Oh man. But yeah, you're gonna need 46 of these, which means that you're gonna have to fight the boss consistently. You get about at a level 90 you get about two to three to drop every time so be prepared you might be facing <laughs> you might be facing this boy up to 23 times that's insane so be sure to get that done now the newest oh hold on there we go now the newest sumer especially that came out these little sand grease poopas <laughs> I, I never get tired of, of saying that, but the sand grease poopa, you want to make sure that you farm up 168 of these boys. Now, for me, I've been very, very bad about farming these. I need to farm them, but you need 168 of these specialty items. So please make sure to get those done. Uh, you could farm them every two days. So you do it, you wait two days and then you can do it again. So, and I think right now you could get upwards to 71. So in three three times doing it you could get it done or you could do it same day have yourself and two other people if they're more than willing to give you the poopa that sounds so weird <laughs> all right let's go ahead and dive down here because we're gonna have to get into some other uh specific things so as you can see this actually goes off of each individual ascension on what you're going to need and it also gives you totals right over here so in total between going from level one to level 90, you're gonna need to get these uh, these little satin red uh, thingamadoodle bobs. And this is the more common one. You're going to need 18 of those. You're going to need 30 of the trimmed red silks, and you're going to need 36 of the rich red brocades. Now, again, it's three of these uh, red satins go into the trimmed red silk, and three of the trimmed red silk turn into the brocades. So there's that. And then, of course, you're going to need more. You're always going to need more for essential materials. So right there, you're going to need 420,000 Mora. 
between that so this is going to be the screenshot that you need to save on how on what you need just for ascension alone now if you're gonna go triple crown which i do plan to do because dia is one of those characters that i really really like you're going to need to go down to this little uh doohickey right here now as you can see this goes over each individual level so all you got to do is times everything you see here by three now level tens right you're going to need three teachings of praxis for one so nine in total for the teachings of praxis you're going to need 21 for of the guides of pra praxis for one which means that you're going to need 63 of these for all three talents and then of course we have the philosophies of praxis which you need 38 for one and then uh, let me go ahead and pull on my calculator really quick because i can't math very well guys uh you're going to need a total of 114 I can't believe I, I don't have that memorized. Come on. But you're going to need 114 of these philosophies of praxis. Now, these can be farmed up, as you can see right here, every Wednesday, Saturday, and Sunday. And right now, as it stands, we have Overflow Mastery out. So make sure that you're doing those. I'm not going to say, re like, reset your resin consistently or refresh your resin, however you want to say it. But I am going to say, if you're going to do this, right now is the right time with overflow mastery so be prepared wednesdays saturdays sundays perfect days to get those practices out now you're going to need a lot of mora in total between because i'm not going to calculate it right here uh between ascension and all three talents you're going to need about 7.1 million mora so you got to make sure you have that plus you're going to need for like books for leveling up you're going to need 421 of the purple books for just the exp level so there's that that was just more of a side note but if you see you actually have to get more of the satins the silks and the brocades so for the satins you're going to need 18 more to get all three to level 10 for the silks you're going to need 66 more to get all three to level 10. And then you're going to need 93 of the brocades to get all of your talents to level 10. And then finally, the last thing that you're going to need is the puppet strings uh, item that you get from fighting Scaramouche. This is the newest like overworld boss battle. <coughs> and you have to make sure that you get six of these for just one talent. You need 18 of these puppet strings, which if you get the other ones, you can convert if you're really wanting to get that triple crown for Dia. Um, personally, I wouldn't recommend it to anybody who isn't going to be using Dia a lot. I'm only going to do it because, again, she's one of the top five for me that, you know, she's she's a, she's a wifey. I like her. But yeah. And then, of course, finally, you're going to need three crowns of insight. If you are new to the game, crowns of insight are so hard to come by. You could get a crown of insight from one main event that happens during each, you know, new version. So I think we only got like two for version 3.4. It was at the beginning of part one and then we had the part two. But I could be wrong. I can't entirely remember off the top of my head, but crowns of insight take a while to come out. So capitalize on every event that you do to get those crowns of insight. You're not going to be disappointed. Now, guys, I'm going to tell you this right now. Outside of me talking about her today, I would still I, I'm very hesitant on saying that you should do all this for her because I don't think that she's going to be that powerhouse that we are craving for. But if you do want to pre farm her, go through the links to do this. Do do what you gotta do. <laughs> I'm gonna be doing the same thing. So, but yeah, guys, that's uh that's how you pre farm Dia. So there you go. Now, guys, thank you so much for giving me the opportunity to entertain you. We will be back again with another Genshin Impact video later on, and of course. Thank you guys. I would love to hear you guys' opinions down below in the comment section. Uh, are you excited for Dia? Let me know. But anyways, guys, that's it. Love you all to death. And as always, we will catch you guys in the next video. Please take care. Be safe, y'all.